It's an effort to make downtown St. Paul more vibrant. Downtown leaders are taking a closer look at the heart of the city to see what they can do to increase foot traffic. Brittany Ehrman is live in St. Paul and spoke with the Downtown Alliance about their plan. Brittany. weekend in downtown St. Paul and it was all because of St. Patrick's Day. Well, downtown leaders want it to be like that all the time, so they're launching a plan hoping to make it happen. It's quieter than it used to be. Whoop, whoop. I think it's coming back. Some St. Paul visitors see the heart of the city as a destination. If it's catching a game at the X or seeing a show at the Ordway. It's fun to be down here. But overall, foot traffic is not what it used to be. So the St. Paul Downtown Alliance is switching gears. I think our, our vision for downtown is an exciting one. The organization just released an investment strategy to get people back downtown. The goal is to triple the population by adding 20,000 residents to the area. We know that uh, empty nesters love to come and live in downtowns and also uh, young professionals. The group is already starting to renovate office spaces into residential areas to make it happen. The residents that will be around in the nights and the weekends keep those coffee shops and, and bars and restaurants full. But the downtown visitors are just as important. The vision also includes making the route to popular areas more walkable by connecting Rice Park to Mears Park and the Excel Center to CHS Field. Make that a wonderful, beautiful space all along there so that people uh, can stroll up and down and along the river. There's always room for improvement. Some downtown visitors are hoping to see the lights on in businesses longer. More open on Sunday morning. <laughs> Everything's kind of closing earlier, like 8, 9 o'clock. Hey, but like the Saint people Paul, just... are the most important piece of the puzzle. Having people down here is a big part of it. See people uh, walking around the streets brings it to life. And this plan also outlines they want to create 20,000 jobs and also increase visitation by 20%. Now, it's unclear when they will achieve these goals, but we do know they plan to get the ball rolling on all of these goals within the next couple years. Live in St. Paul, Brittany Ehrman, 5 by Witness 